Hello, I'm APX Toycat and welcome back to the top 10 video. Today I want to talk about Title Update 67, the next major update coming out for Minecraft Console Editions. This is an update which has been long awaited and it is an update where a lot of people are curious as to what's even in it. Despite knowing it's the aquatic update and knowing there's a lot of underwater features, there are kind of multiple versions of the aquatic update, especially a phase one, phase two, the job edition update, and knowing exactly what's in it is something we've only really known recently when they basically said explicitly on their Twitter that it would be based on 1.5, based on the whole delay thing, based on the tweets they've shown of images and I figured given that we now know it's based on 1.5 the bedrock update now we can actually talk about what's inside this update and I figured I was going to talk about all of the major features now before it came out but let's be honest but you know because let's be honest there's a bunch of features in here like you know what? there is pumpkins that you look at and you say actually I don't really care that they're you know like non uh, you know face now like okay regular pumpkins not really an exciting feature so I figured why not go through just the major features and I figured the best way to do this is to go through the most major of the major features because today we're going through the 10 best in my opinion features found within the aquatic update for Minecraft console. Hopefully you do all enjoy this video. It is of course being recorded on Bedrock so I can show you the features before they come out because the next Minecraft console update is based on the Bedrock 1.5 update which I am playing, or I'm playing 1.6 here, but you get the point, uh, to show you all of these features today. So with that said, let's get straight into the 10th best feature found within the aquatic update for Minecraft console edition found within TU67. Uh, we have already seen this one of course and it is brand new things to do with wood. So it's almost cheating to include all of these things together but like would you say that the, uh, you know, the brand new spruce uh, pressure plate for instance is a new feature by itself I wouldn't really say that I would say all of the new things you can do with wood is one mega update that they decided to do together after last year's Minecraft Earth so yeah it's one of the coolest uh, you know like 1.13 features that turned into an aquatic update feature that now will turn in to a TU67 feature where you can actually take your uh, existing wood types all five of the new ones and turn them into brand new pressure plates brand new buttons brand new doors and also you can use your axe and turn them into strip wood there are so many new things you can do with wood in this update and I know most people people build a wood in general because it's an easy block to get and given that again that because it's an easy block to get in survival it means survival builders have so much in the term in, in the way of options that I'm just uh, kind of uh, pleased and happy for you all and that's why I think this is one of the best uh, bits fit because uh, yeah now as of uh, you know 1.5 slash the TU67 update you'll be able to do so many new things especially when it comes to like I guess redstone stuff because all of this also works underwater so with that said let's move on to the ninth feature uh, found within this update we're talking about just blocks and items by the way and mobs and stuff like that uh, you know, like we could talk about like fundamental, uh, you know, changes to like the game code engine and the way stuff works underwater. But we're mostly focused on stuff like, you know, it's also a really nice feature. It is actually going to be the corals. So corals are a brand new, uh, they're both a structure, but I'm talking about the blocks when I talk about this. Because coral are a brand new set of blocks you can find in this update. They come in so many different forms. There's fans, there's the plants, and there's the regular block itself. There's also the dead version, but like it. If you care about the dead version, then that says concerning things about your soul. But it does exist over there just in case. Just in case this is your favorite thing in the world, if it is. Again, I've got some serious concerns for you as to why you love the, the really gray and uh, dull block as opposed to the colorful ones. But as you can see, they're a really, really colorful block that dies when they go out of water. But while they're in the water, they are one of the most colorful, one of the most unique, and one of the most interesting blocks in the game. And although personally, I've yet to really find a good use for building with them, I feel like the unique challenge of having to build underwater and having to make sure it never gets uh, drained is one that I think I would enjoy and one that you might enjoy in this update. In case you don't enjoy it, which I mean, it's like a perfectly fine thing to say. Then uh, let's talk about the other feature that comes with the coral reefs because sea pickles are a brand new thing found this update. So I'll be honest, a decent amount of my love for sea pickles comes from the fact that I love pickles in real life. I, I eat so many pickles, my doctor regularly tells me like, just, just chill on those pickles, man. And uh, pro tip for you, if you eat too many pickles, you should chill on them too. But today's video is not about medical advice, although it is a little bit about that. It's mostly all about uh, sea pickles because as you can see, sea pickles come in four variants because you can take as many as you want and you can place them on the same block. And you can't necessarily see it so great here because I have water breathing. So in a few seconds, you'll see it a bit better. But basically, uh, you know, the sea pickles light up underwater. And again, we can see this better from outside the water. Sea pickles are now an underwater lighting source. I mean, you know, that actually work down there. That actually fit naturally into your caves and which you can use to make different levels of light. Do you want to have a little bit of light underwater? Just one sea pickle will do. Do you want to have a lot of light? Use lots of sea pickles everywhere. The fact that you can vary that, again, combine that with the corals and there are some very unique underwater building opportunities. And also, they're called sea pickles. So who doesn't love that? And in case you're one of these people that's like, you know what, Toy Cat, you've just given a lot of building opportunities so far. Maybe I don't like building. Maybe I just like going in the water and uh, slaying the creatures that exist there because I'm just, I, I'm that type of human being, you know, like I'm a whale hunter or something uh, in real life. And you know what, for you, I do have a brand new feature because there is uh, number, number seven, the brand new fish model. So fish exist 
in the oceans, they're not just something you find with your fishing rod as of this update, they're something you can physically see like this. As you can see, this is a fish, this is a fish, and uh, over there I, I had a pressure plate that was uh, activating them, but <laughs> things went a bit badly there. But also, these are fish as well. There's a tropical, f oh shit, the, well there's a, yeah, there's a tropical fish, there's a puffer fish, and there is a salmon right there, and all four of the fish now exist physically in the real oceans. This means in this update, in the update aquatic, there is between, how you want to count things, uh, two, six, or three thousand new mobs just because of the number of variants you can get off this tropical fish if i spawn in a bunch of tropical fish i think it'll be clear that like every time we spawn one we're getting an entirely different type of tropical fish because they come in so many variants they come in close to three thousand variants and because of that they single-handedly increase the number of unique mob counts in this update uh to pretty far up there so as you can see a uh, little fish right there very, very unique one, and you can find so many different examples of them. And honestly, it's not the huge deal, like the, the tropical fish aren't the big one to me, but the big reason I love this is because when you're in survival and you're hungry, you know, like in real life where you do that thing where you, like, you just stare at the fridge uh, all day and you just wonder like, well, nothing's really here for me. You can now do that with the oceans. You can stare at the ocean and be like, do I need salmon? And if you're ever in a hunger situation, you can be like, yeah, actually, I think I will take the salmon. And I don't know, I'm just saying, anything that turns the oceans into a fridge is something I'm totally on board with, but I, I really am uh, a big fan of this feature just because it now means uh, there's less chance of dying because you can't find pigs and cows. And uh, you know, it just means that farming is a little bit less necessary, or at least you can do it in a different form of way. And yeah, fishing can now be done in Minecraft with a sword or with a trident, which is uh, something kind of cool in my opinion. So yeah, that is uh, something I should mention right there. So let's move on to the uh, next feature, uh, the I, I would say the sixth uh, feature, if I can count correctly, uh, found in the aquatic update, because I'm going to say, oh, that's the best feature, if to, to be precise, or most important, whatever way you want to say it, because in my opinion, it has to be the dolphins. So dolphins are fairly easy to find, but I'll spawn one here, just to show you how adorable they are, just in case you've never seen one. This is the dolphin, a brand new feature found within the aquatic update for all Minecraft platforms. They're one of the key things about this update. They're one of the, like, kind of, like, tentpole features that make you realize, like, oh yeah, this is why I care about and like the update. And honestly, uh, by themselves, you you know, when they first came out, it's like, okay, they're a cute thing you can find in water, but there's two key behaviors. Well, this this is a weird thing. There's two key behaviors about them that you want to know about. This is another new mob, by the way, the drowned. But uh, yeah, there's two key behaviors you want to know about. The first one is that if you swim near them, they give you this kind of swimming effect where you start swimming a bit faster because they give you the power of friendship. That's right, dolphins are that good friends. They can make you swim better. Do you, do, you, do any of your real life friends do you, do that for you? Do you ever speak to, you know, Jimmy and he's like, you know what? I really like your power, so I'm going to give you a speed boost in real life. No, Jimmy is a worse friend than a dolphin. You should dump it, Jimmy, and you should you should get yourself a dolphin instead. So pro tip, uh, use, use a dolphin instead of Jimmy. Way better friend. And second pro tip is going to be the fact that you can feed them fish, uh, like those things I just killed earlier, and they'll show you towards the nearest structure, which is really cool in my opinion. And yeah, just these two features alone. Again, there's some other ones that you could technically kill them for fish if you were a monster. Uh, just makes them one of the best features. So you give them fish, and then they uh, point you to the nearest underwater structure, which contains a treasure map. So yeah, they are tr they they lead you to the treasure, which is a bit like an uh, like a uh, you know Wind Waker thing, where it's like you have to get a treasure map for a treasure map. But it's wonderful regardless. Let's let's talk next about the fifth best feature found within this update. And honestly, this is an oddball one. Most people probably wouldn't even include this on their list, but it is something that's at least exciting. So unlike, for instance, pumpkins with no faces, where it's like, guess what? They're pumpkins. They have no faces. They don't have faces. And they're pumpkins. In the case of this uh, right here, when we talk about the potion of the turtle master because this is one of the weirdest potions you can make in this update. It is a result of, po uh, so you need to get turtles, sea turtles, they spawn, they uh, drop scutes when they turn into adults. I don't really like sea turtles too much, that's why they're not in this list. Again, they're turtles, they go on the sea. No, not as great as this potion right here, which is a really weird mixture of slowness uh, you get slowness 6, and you get uh, resistance 4, or at least this is the level I have right here, as uh, as well as uh, re decreasing your speed, of course, which is part of the slowness, which means that when you drink one of these potions, you're, you become close to invulnerable, but your field of view gets massively decreased, if you have that saying enabled, and, uh, but also, uh, yeah, so you can win any fight, but you can't chase anyone, which means that this is like the ultimate defensive tool, it's like retreating inside your turtle shell, and I think the thing about this is, is in survival, it's near useless. Like, I think there's some situations you might want to use it. Like, oh, 
if you're fighting the wither boss and you need to just like make him chill chill out or whatever drink one of these because you can just you know do that in a corner i think it's a really potentially okay to good idea in survival but i think in uh, both potentially in battle mode if it comes but also in terms of uh you know like just the in multiplayer as a whole being able to drink one of these potions it's gonna throw people off no one's gonna be expecting it in survival multiplayer and very few people expect it in mini games and the fact that you can do it and pull some stuff off is kind of weird also uh this is okay so this is the weirdest item in this update Spoiler for a video, I kind of want to make at some point, but there are arrows of the Turtle Master. That's right, this is a real item found in this update where you can put that out, you know, if you turn that potion into a lingering potion, fake, you know, put that on some arrows, and then if you fire an arrow at someone, you can give them that effect. I really, really cannot work out exactly, okay, so let's just go a little bit lower. I really, really cannot work out exactly why you'd want to give someone three seconds of that effect. Again, you slow them down a little bit, so maybe that's why, but why not use a, you know, an arrow of slowness? So it's like, okay, you want to slow them down mega hard, and it's like, okay, that's an interesting thing. I don't know, I feel like there's going to be a really interesting market for the uh, arrows of the, the Turtle Master. I think they're mostly going to be useless, but the fact that they're not 100% useless makes them A-OK -okay in my book. In fact, I would say better than A-OK. -okay. Better than your friend Jimmy, that's for sure. So with that said, I'm sorry, I, I, I really just, I, I think you need to pick better friends than Jimmy. I just don't think he's good for you. And uh, with that said, we'll move into the fourth uh, best feature found within this update. Uh, because, uh, again, I, I feel like there's a lot of great features in this update, and one of them has to be uh, the way that the bubbles work as of uh, 1.5. So, this isn't a thing found within 1.4 for the update Aquatic, uh, same with the potion of the Turtle Master, but it is something found within 1.5, and therefore it will come to TU67. And we have actually seen it in footage of the game, just in case you're curious, because you might not have ever seen this, because there are brand new uh, bubbles that exist when you place either magma blocks or soul sand below the water. If you place magma below the water, the bubbles aim downward, and if you place soul sand below the water, it goes upwards. And you might be thinking, Toy Cat, do you really care that much about bubbles? And, I mean, the answer to that question is like, I mean, the, the amount people drink carbonated drinks tells me that people do care about bubbles. But no, uh, the re reason that these bubbles are amazing is because they drag you down or they drag you up. They also drag down boats or drag up boats. They also, um, you know, drag up mobs, for instance. So if we put a dolphin in there, then a dolphin's gonna get all oh, that's actually, you know, that, it's way more fun to have the dolphin go. Look at that. You can make dolphins bounce. There's a lot of cute, cool things you can do with this, in including throw your items in there, make them go flying into the sky, or make them go drag down to the magma. There's there's just so many different weird options you can do with this, and the fact that it exists means that just different uh, possibilities are going to be made. Again, I personally haven't used it in uh, my world yet, because I'm on 1.4, uh, but I feel like there's a few possibilities that are going to just be really fun. Having boats on there alone, it's a fun enough thing to do. Having mobs be dragged down and up is really fun, and being able to make item elevators and item... What's the opposite of an elevator? I guess it's still an elevator, just going down. Having item elevators that take you down a floor instead of up, there's just uh, a lot of fun stuff that can be done with them. You know, the elevator really is a misleading term because I just realized this now, but like they call it an elevator, but it elevates and it like de-elevates. Like, I, I, what is that even called? Like, it, it, could, it could be called a full elevator because let's be honest, like an elevator is more useful if you live in a high rise apartment because it gets you down the stairs, not because it gets you back up. But with that said, let's move on to the third best feature found within this update because it does have to be the trident in my opinion. So trident, sorry, feature, which you can find when you kill drowned. So drowned, again, they're, they're a bad mob. I don't like them personally, uh, although we do know the origin story. If you kill drowns, you might get a trident. If you have a trident, you can throw it at things and then it won't come back. And also it will despawn within about 30 seconds. So make sure you get it back. But yeah, the trident is a really cool hybrid attack slash ranged weapon. So uh, I guess melee slash ranged weapon that actually works underwater. Unlike arrows, uh, where you know they're kind of questionable as you can see you can throw this in the water and it actually goes uh, quite some far And the reason I love the trident is because it comes with new enchantments the best one of those being riptide So you've seen this whole video the way I've been getting oh, I'm sorry fish, uh, The way I've been getting around this whole video is just by riptiding everywhere It's so much fun And it's one of the best parts of this update if it's raining you can actually do this with the sky as well And again, you know actually it's been a while since I've showed this off so guess what everyone's favorite feature if you have Riptide on and it's raining, you can fly through the sky without even needing an Elytra, which I don't, oh, wait, <laughs> which I don't have right here. So yeah, it looks amazing when you do it. Look, just look at this. This is silly. This is insane. You can go all the way to the top of the world and you can come right back down and it's just A-OK -okay like that. So yeah, I love this personally. You can even like force yourself down a bit. Uh, yeah, personally, I really, really, really love, uh, oh, the, uh, the Trident. I love the Riptide and I love this feature as a whole. So let's uh, set the weather back to clear. Uh, because I, I know I feel like that's probably a good idea, right? So weather clear and let's uh, move on to talking about the second best feature because I talk about tridents all day But I can't talk about the next feature all day at least uh, I, you know, I mean I, I talk about it for like, you know Three quarters of a day or something like that because it is the conduit so the conduit 
is the second best feature found within the aquatic update. Why is that the case? Um, because of the fact that it is one of the coolest things to look at. Look at this, this is a conduit, an activated one at least. Look how amazing it looks. They're really hard to get, they have a really powerful effect, and they give you a reason to go explore your oceans. They give you like a, you know, like a benefit, because you can tame your oceans by filling it with conduits. The reason I'm hyped for 1.5, which is probably coming out in the next week or two for bedrock platforms, and then, you know, like three or four weeks maybe for Minecraft console platforms, the reason I'm so hyped for this update is mostly down to the conduit. The fact that, uh, you know, like collecting enough of these and filling them is gonna be, you know, like a real reward. Look, you can actually see there's a heart to see in there, by the way. I'm only just spot that right now. <laughs> but yeah, being able to like tame your oceans is one of the best things I'm looking forward to most in this update. But not quite as good. By the way, look, there's bubbles like attached to the uh, to the trident there. Did you see that? That's weird. I'd, I think I've just discovered like a secret feature. If you fire a trident through bubbles, the bubbles stay attached to it, it seems. No, that's not the case. That That's a lie. I made that up. It, well, maybe it does exist sometimes. Just not in this case. Anyway, that's it. Let's move on to the final feature. Uh, the very best feature found within the aquatic update. So I know this is going to surprise you, but I must confess my favorite feature in this update is probably the shipwreck and by extension all of the other underwater structures such as the new caves, the new ravines, the new, uh, you know, like uh, underwater strongholds you can find, or underwater things you can find, uh, ruins I believe they're called. All of these things found in this update make the ocean so much more exciting. Like, you know, finding seagrass down here, like I'm sure someone finds that to be just the best feature in the whole game. But to me, the best features is being able to find stuff like this because, you know, by the Wait, on Bedrock and Java, where stuff is notoriously spread out, you can find a bunch of these in your Minecraft world. You can find a bunch of the, you know, the maps, you can find a bunch of the, uh, you know, like the Heart of the Seas, you can find all this stuff on a pretty regular basis. Uh, by the way, it's gonna be, uh, you know, which is, by the way, gonna be interesting to see, like, how is 4J gonna handle uh, the Heart of the Sea thing, because they're a limited resource on Bedrock, where you have to explore more, but there's only so much space you can explore in your Minecraft world, so the big, uh, the easy answer is probably they're gonna make a bunch of shipwrecks. There are gonna be shipwrecks everywhere, around the edge of your Minecraft world probably. And because of that, I'm really hyped to see them come to console edition just to see how they're done. They're gonna be done differently. They don't necessarily fit in their current form. And although they might just be ported and then suck, I think what's more realistic to happen is they are gonna make them in some specific console way in terms of like, okay, they'll make them closer together or they'll make them smaller and then uh, they'll make them, uh, you know, spawn more. There's a whole bunch of different options and I'm hyped for whichever one does come out. But yeah, that is uh, my opinions on this uh, update. I wanna know what you think. What's your favorite feature? Feature, maybe your favorite five features, maybe your favorite ten features. Don't leave a comment down below of them because I mean, like, you know, if if you leave top tens in the comments, then what is even the point of this one? But no, let me know what your favorite feature is. If you disagree with mine, if you think that like you know coral is really your favorite, just let me know your single favorite feature in the comments down below because that's something that I would uh, you know I'd love to know like how on the mark am I? How many people agree with me and how many people think that I'm horrifically wrong? Because I mean, I I will be honest, I don't see what you think with all of your different opinions and I'm, I'm gonna stop because this is uh, just terrible. So I, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're sure you liked it, then make sure, wait, because you see there's a shore over there. Um, th these jokes are just top notch today. Then make sure you give the video a like and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like these sorts of videos and let's know that you are in fact, there we go, let's try this again. That you are sure you wanna see more of these every single day on your channel. Um, and that's a really cool thing you can do. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, whenever 1.5 comes out, there's gonna be a bunch of videos about that on my channel, which I know, I, if, even if you're a console guy, you might be thinking like, oh, well, this was silly. Um, <laughs> if you're a console guy, you might be thinking, well, 1.5 isn't the same thing, but 1.5 is all the stuff coming in Aquatic Update for Bedrock. So, sorry, yeah, for consoles. It's just gonna be coming out for Bedrock a little bit earlier. So if you wanna see stuff coming in there, I'll be doing a lot of uploads on this this week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. With that said though, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you like this title as much as I do. Uh, I not very much, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.